Okay, now I'm going to show you the basket weave. This is a really nice um, stitch. You can do it a number of different ways. I'm going to show you the more traditional way using a multiple of three. Okay, I'm going to, what I'm starting with here is um, a formerly a row of uh, double crochet and I chain two for my turn. Um, make sure you don't chain three for this because the stitch will not be as high as it normally would be when you're using double crochet because we're going to be using front post double crochet and back post double crochet alternately um, rather than rather than you know going in the tops uh, of the the loops like this and this is how we do this okay we're going to wrap the needle around once and we're going to do a regular double crochet but instead of going through the top through the top loops like you normally would we're going to actually wrap the needle around the body of the stitch and we just finish our double crochet as we normally would. Notice I didn't work in the first stitch. You're going to need that for a border. Okay, we're going to do that two more times. Yarn over and bring the needle around the stitch. Complete the double crochet. Yarn over around the stitch. Complete the double crochet. Okay. Now the next three we're going to do are going to be called back post double crochet. Again, wrap it around like you would for a double crochet. But instead of going in the front, we're going to bring the needle around the back of the stitch, through the front, and pull the needle through this way, and then complete the double crochet. This is a little trickier. It almost is something you can feel more than you can see when you're actually doing it. Okay, so see now we have we have three front post and then we have three back post. I'll show you what that looks like from the back, although it's kind of hard to see. Now I'm going to wrap around. I'm going to do three front post again. One, two, three. Now we're going to do three back post. Again, the needle, I'll do a little more slowly, wrap around, goes around the back side. And you want to keep the stitch on the back side as well. Now we're going to do three around the front side. Make sure that when you're doing this that you do keep track that you're doing these in multiples of three especially the foundation row, which is what this is, because um, otherwise you can, again, lay a bad foundation and then you'd have to take that all out. We're going to do three back posts. One. Two. Again, these are the stitches are side by side. Let me show you how I do the last cluster here. We're going to end with the front post. So we have one, two, three, and we have this little section here. I, I usually work a half double crochet by simply, well, let, me, let me undo this before I show you. Yarn over, put it, I just put it through the entire chain two hole created there. Yarn over and pull it through all three. The reason I do that is it, it makes it about the same level as the other stitches. I'm going to chain two. I'm going to turn. Now it looks a little different. We're going to follow the same pattern we just did. We're going to uh, where you have uh, what is what now looks to be like uh, back post stitches. We're going to work back post double crochet around and then we're going to work front post double crochet around the front post. Let's go ahead and do that. And by this point it is easier to see, it's easier to feel um, to help minimize mistakes. Now we're going to do three front post. One, 
two, three, and three back post. So go ahead and continue that across the row. Okay, once we come to the end of this row, I'm going to show you again how I like to turn yarn over. Work a half double crochet simply by going into the entire chain, not into a, a loop of it, just, just go right through the chain and pull through chain two and turn. Now because we were working um, with a double crochet initially, a row of double crochet. We really have what essentially looks like three rows of basket weave, although we've really only done two rows. And, and that's what happens on the foundation row of the, of the um, basket weave. Um, but now what I'm going to do is I'm going to work the row that's going to give it the real basket weave look. Uh, we're going to reverse everything we just did. Where you have front post double crochets, we're going to now work back post over those. Where you have back post double crochets, like right here, we're going to work front post double crochet. So you would just reverse what you've done. So let's go ahead, we're going to start with three back post over the three front posts. So that's one, two, three. Now we're going to work three front posts. One, two, three. You can see it, it changing already. Now we have three front posts. We're going to work three back posts over those. One, two, three. Now we have three back posts. We're going to work three front posts. One, two, three, etc. And we'll work that across the row. Okay, now we've come to the end of our row again. Again, just a half double crochet through the chain. Chain two. Now you see the basket weave starting to come together here. Now we're going to work same stitches over the same stitches. We're going to work front post double crochet over front post, back post double crochet over back post. Let's go ahead and do that. One, two, three, front post, and we're going to work back post one two three and then we have three front posts we're going to work three front posts here one two three and now we have back posts let's go ahead and work some back post one two, three, and now let's try three more front posts. One, two, three. Okay, you would continue working in the pattern and you can see the, the woven effect that's created. One nice thing about this stitch is it doesn't really have a front side and a back side. It's the front side and the back side look the same and essentially they are um, so there you have it your basket weave